yeah guys neo price update neo stock price update just looking at the neo stock here uh, i'm going to tell you the date is the 13th november 2024 it's coming up to 8 39 a.m uk time guys and this is in the pre-market pre-market stock price of neo we're going to be looking at the chart here guys and let's just turn up the lights on the screen i think you can see that guys climbed up there this is a 10 minute chart <clears throat> on the neo it's climbing up guys i told you yesterday it did look like it had reached the bottom but it did push lower than where it where i left it where it was it went down to 450 in fact but it was pushing it was kind of pushing uh when i left it i think it was like five uh, 458 Around right about 4.58. I think it was like 4.58. It might have been 4.56. But, yeah. Around right about there, 4.56. But it pushed down to 4.50 in pre-market. Right, pre-market. And then since then... Also, you know, it's still in pre-market, it's lifting up. So, I don't know, I haven't checked. There's probably some big buy orders coming through. If it, if it stays up anyway, that's what I said in the last video about, you know, last trading day. That people will, if it stays up, if it could pop, it could pop, price could pop, could pop before the end of this week possible anything's possible people will regret selling i said i read a lot of comments in uh on other videos oh people selling out just because the stock goes down for a couple of days you know really it's only it, it, really the stock is up if you think about it the neo stock price is up it's come out the 375 to four dollar range it's, it's, it's up the, sp the price is up all right we had a spike to 770 but obviously that was not that was based on not so great news it's still early days in the neo journey so if you you know for, for, you know if you if you look at things in a different kind of way you can see that the stock is actually up all right it spiked up it come back down and then it got bashed down it got some it got some bashes like it didn't deserve but as i said like in my previous video i don't know if you listened to it i'm not going to repeat all the information but i think that a lot of money is going to be pumped into chinese stock you know, on the, on the US stock market. Because that's the emerging market still, guys. Like, and this is the big, you know, reset. This is what this is what the big reset's all about. It's about taking the money from, you know, tr or trying to take the money from you, basically, and make themselves richer, right? Because they can't just create money out of thin air. I mean, they do do that. But, you know, ultimately they want your money, right? They want your money. That's the game, right? This is what it is. That's why they call it trading. Someone's going to win, someone's going to lose, right? Spread betting. So anyway, they want your money. And then what do they do with your money? They're not going to pull it back into the same rubbish you was trying to make money from because it's overinflated western stocks so they're going to invest it into you know into these stocks these kinds of stocks and that's why we see quite a few chinese type stocks still down but some moving up because it's a growing market 
population's growing, it's a growing market, you know. So you see it moving up, the price in the air is moving up. Imagine you sold, <clears throat> I don't know what people bought in at, but imagine they sold down at here, down here, you know, when it was like, market was still open, when it was like four, 458 or whatever, imagine they dumped it and it goes up today. Imagine it goes up to 520 today, for example. Well, imagine it goes up today, 520. And then, you know, today is Wednesday, right? So imagine when it goes up to 520 and then imagine on Thursday, it goes up to $6. <laughs> and then imagine on Friday, right? 15. Imagine on Friday it pops like eight dollars or something. Like they'll be kicking themselves, you know, they'll be kicking themselves, etc. etc. That's what happens, right? Anyway, so that's moving up. So, you know, as I say, like we've got to look forward to 2025. But if you're looking for a spike 2024, it's still possible, still possible this month in November, actually. And um, <clears throat> even though there's not a lot of trading days left to the end of the year, we're talking about what, one, two, three, five, six, eight, seven, eight, 13 in this month, about 13 left, about 13 trading days. And obviously the holidays are coming up December, the end of December. And then we've got like five, 10, 15, so that's, 28, 28, um, uh, 29, it's like, I don't know, 29, it, it's probably less, it's, it's probably, when you consider like some, there's going to be some flat days because of the holidays, it's probably only really 20 days to the end of the 2024, 20, 20 trading days, I mean officially what, 28, something like that, trading days, but it's still in that time, it's, it's still ch a chance for Neo stock to go up to $8. I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to, I'm not calling it in case, you know, I don't want you to say, you know, I called it wrong, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not, in this occasion, I'm not going to call it, right? Because I called it right so far, but I'm not calling it anymore because I'm not appreciated. But I'm just saying there's a possibility, right? And, um, <clears throat> you know, let's see what happens. The market, obviously, it's not open yet, but it'll be open in, um, well, about five, five and a half hours time. Five and a half hours time from me recording this video. And we're just gonna have to see what happens, guys. Like as I said, this is a possibility we could be looking at eight dollars before the end of 2024. Can't guarantee that, not financial advice, just my opinion. But I'm not really gonna call it this time, really. I mean, I know I'm saying it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna officially like stamp my actual prediction. I'm not gonna call it a prediction because I mean, I've called it right up to now, like so far on this stock, but I'm not giving it any information out, right? Any information, only like, well, talk about it another time, but anyway, let's see what the stock's going to do today. We see it moving up in pre market. Pre market, it's not always a good indicator because. Sometimes, you know, when the when the market opens, it just resets back down to where it was. But on the other hand, sometimes, you know, if it pushes up quite a lot in pre-market, then it actually opens higher when the, you know, when the market opens officially, you know, proper. So we could take it either way, really. And also it could open up and then fall back down. But what is important with an EO stock moving forward is that the more time that passes the more revenue neo should be making 
and it's not just from the cars you see like sales it's not just from sales obviously it's from parts like in the future you know people buying parts they're going to be making a lot of money from parts they could be making more money from parts than from the actual vehicles vehicle sales you know parts not per se like expensive but it all adds up you know and um of course they can mass produce the parts they don't have to put them together like in production you know manufacturing so that's all money 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 coming neo's way in the future plus the software the software guys think about the software semiconductors you know think about the software licensing and everything look at nvidia's stock price neo could be it guys it could be it anyway just not financial advice just my opinion yeah so Think about the future and uh, always uh, hold hope, hold, hold out hope, you know, hold hope, guys. Um, I've given you a lot of tips thus far. I've given you like tons of tips, tons, not financial advice, but per se, I'll give you tips. Anyway, guys, um, let's look later, see what happens.